Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, fan scans of new and classic portable radios, then please subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Yeah, no singing today. <laughs> so yay, look at the fun radio I have in front of me. The Texan R9700DX. It is an FM stereo, medium wave, short wave, dual conversion receiver with 10 bands. It is awesome. So let's go over it. All right, so I purchased this radio for a total of $49.95, I believe, from Amazon. And it came in two days because Prime is awesome. And here's the box it came in. Texan for the listener. A little blurb of what it has. Picture of the radio. I got the black one. Dual conversion. Okay, let's see what the side says. Nothing too crazy. There you go. There's two colors. Da, 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 da. Okay, in the back of the box. Got the layout. There you are. If you want to pause and read all that fun stuff. But we'll go over all those features. Pretty neat stuff. This was really cool. I'll show that too. The light. I love it. Okay, so I emptied out the box and we'll show what I got. Yeah, I was really excited about this radio. I've been waiting to buy it for a while. And it just... It's one of those things where I saw it reviewed and I was like, you know what? That's 50 bucks. You know, will I be able to get that? Sure, why not? Let me go ahead and just lower this down. And we can see the little contents. So in the box we get the DC power supply. So this um, works really well on FM if you have it plugged in without any batteries in it. Um, what I did is I just took the batteries out to test it to see if it would run off of this, and it does. Works good on the FM, works good for local AM stations. Any distant AM stations or in between, you'll get a lot of uh, noise from this. And then shortwave, you get a lot of noise. So pretty good for just FM listening and local AM. Uh, but if you have rechargeable batteries in the radio, it'll recharge the batteries. So remember, if you use this supply, do not use alkalines. Now, I don't think the manual said anything about that, but it did say that this would charge the, the batteries. So make sure if you're going to plug this in, the radio has batteries in it, make sure the rechargeables. So just want to make sure you know. But nice little feature that they, they included that. I'm glad. For 50 bucks, good to see this. All right. So next little fun thing, we got a pair of headphones. I didn't really check these out. Let's see what we got here. Texan branded ones. They're not the gray ones. These are like black. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Nice right angle plug. Okay. Cool. All right. Everybody loves those, right? We got tons of them. <laughs> Us collectors. All right. So we got a wire. I think this is a similar uh, length to the 380, but this one has a plug instead of a clip. And of course, you can hang this wherever inside the house or outside the house. But uh, again, nice thing to have. Uh, if you own a radio that has shortwave capability, get yourself, uh, if you don't, if they don't include this, you know, get yourself like the uh, Kaito T1 compact antenna that I reviewed in the Tuner Tips episode. I'll link that up here. Uh, it's a really good thing to have. Uh, improves the reception greatly and your FM reception. And if you have a weather band, it also increases that. So cool. And even aviation band. I've tried it with my avi aviation radio, so it works out really well. Okay, next we got, let's see. Oh, this was kind of nice. Came with a bag to hold the radio. Look at that gray and black. Real nice. The name, number. Um, let's see. I didn't open this up yet. There we go. A little Velcro. A little fuzzies. All right. So it looks like it sits in this pouch here. The bottom of it. I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Holds it like that. And then up here, this clear part probably holds like log sheets or your instructions, I'm guessing. Wait a minute. This clear thing. I'm trying to figure out this clear part. I think it's just for looks. There's no way to open that. <laughs> so we discovered something. Oh, there it is. Okay. I wasn't trying hard enough. <laughs> so yeah, you could put out your instructions in there or your log sheets for the radio. Pretty cool. Ah, oh, it's sticking to my table. <laughs> so there you go. Pretty snazzy looking. I like it. Feels durable. It's like a canvasy type material. Real, real durable looking. Cool. All right. Set that aside. What else do we get? We got paperwork. Yeah, everybody likes paperwork. Kaido. This looks like a user. No, not a user guide. Warranty guide. Looks like you fill it out. Get your warranty through Kato. Excuse me, Kato. Yes, that's their name. Kato, not Kaito. But they told me I could say it however I wanted <laughs> when I talked to them. But Kato Electronics. So there you go. I believe they're the the company that sells Texan products, 
that include English instructions and include a warranty in the United States. So if you're buying Texan radios, uh, check out Amazon and Cato's uh, Texan radios because um, you, get the, you get the warranty and you get an English uh, manual. So that's kind of a nice thing. So the manual, here we go. If you guys want to pause and read features, I'm going to go over. Uh, so there's your AC thing. This receiver can be incorporate. Yeah, so it does anything about hooking up the... Uh, it just says make sure you have rechargeable batteries in there. That's all it says. So if you had alkalines, <laughs> you're going to blow them up. There we go. It talks about how to listen to your radio. Do, 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 do. It looks really basic. So I think we figured out... Oh, there's the frequency chart for the frequency nuts. So yeah, we'll kind of go over that, how it's structured. Some power consumption and some precautions. Uh, must escape from burning and impact. Okay. <laughs> Love reading some of these. It's kind of like, what, what does that mean? Anyway, there you go. Precautions. Read them. Follow them. <laughs> okay. So, there we go. And hey, let's get to the fun part. The radio, finally, right? The radio. Sweet. Yeah, look at this bad boy. Oh, it's so nice. You know, I love a good analog radio. And this is a good analog radio. I love its size. I love the layout. I love how clear the dial is. It's, I'm getting off on a tangent already. This is a great radio. Uh, I'm going to go over the features. And then we'll talk about it. So... Let's see, we have dimensions 7 and 8, 7 and 1 eighths inches wide, 4 and a half inches high, and a depth of an inch and a half. So it's pretty slim for a big radio. Uh, let's go ahead and, I guess, bring my tripod up, and then we'll do a size comparison. I brought some radios to the party. Here we go. Texan PL880. Yeah, didn't forget I own that one, right? There you go. And I brought a little baby brother, Texan 380. Yeah, so there it gives you an idea for size. Cool. And I got some more. Got some more to show. Well, not a ton more, but and since it's analog, I better just try to bring out kind of an analog partner, buddy, whatever you call it. I remember my Yacht Boy that I did? This is the 207. So I'm going to do this so you can see it in frame. So yeah, um, this isn't a bad sounding radio either, but oh, it sounds way better. <laughs> But yeah, this is when I try to salvage and put an antenna jack in and everything. Cool. All right. So, back to the radio. Yeah. So, you got an idea for size. Oh, you know what? Everybody likes Iron Man. So, bring up Iron Man. There's Iron Man. He's the man. Invincible man. <laughs> okay. Get tired of me singing, I'm sure. Let's see what the radio can do. Okay. So, features on this radio on the front. Uh, actually, no. I usually start on the left. <laughs> Wrist strap, holy crap. Carrying strap, this is everything strap. Ah, fuzzies from the box, excuse me. Um, so this is the carrying strap, yep, everybody loves those. On the side here, we have some multiple things. Here we have an antenna jack, and I believe it says it on the back. So we flip it, if I can get that into focus, can you guys read that? Yeah, FM shortwave antenna. Um, okay, so then the switch here is DX local switch, which is nice. The switches feel really good. Here we have a tone control switch. I think it does, what's it say back there? Stereo mono. See, I'll explain that. This works, so it works as a tone control uh, when you're playing the FM uh, and AM and shortwave through the speaker. And then when you got headphones hooked up, it works as your mono and FM uh, stereo selecting, but it, you lose the bandwidth with the headphones on AM and shortwave, and it must be some feature lost. But works in the speaker real well. With headphones, it's only for FM. So I kind of noticed that when I was working with it. And there's your headphone port. Um, so we'll talk about the headphones. Yes, it sounds very well. FM stereo sounds really good. Very bassy. It's very bassy. Um, Low-level hiss, but very small amount of background hiss. So excellent um, headphone uh, experience. There's your input for your AC adapter I showed you. And down here we have the on-off power switch. Cool. Front of the radio, we have a light button. The light button's really cool, and i got to showcase this. <laughs> so I'm going to turn off the lights, and it's going to get dark in here. Where did everything go? And then I can find the radio. And what? We gotta turn it on first. Let's go ahead, and there's the light. There, I'm gonna turn the volume down. So, yeah, it lasts 15 seconds. You could pretty much make out the whole dial um, at night. Uh, it loses a little bit towards the bottom, but at least it's there if you had nothing. So, very handy. I'm gonna turn some lights back on, try to find them. <laughs> All right. So, there we go. My camera readjust. Cool. So that's the like button. You got to see that. We have power indicator. 
um, which is lit up. Okay, I guess I'll leave it. So you get the power LED tuning. This tell you in tune turns green, and we have headphones on. This turns red uh, when your earphones are on. It's an FM stereo, so that's pretty nice. Speaker two and three quarter inch, possibly three inch. I think it's more two and three quarter. There we go. The the name R ninety seven hundred DX Suite. Um, Texan large dial uh, with multiple bands. Um, there's your FM, medium wave, short wave, one through ten. Um, just amazing. Uh, so did I say 10 band receiver earlier? I probably did. It's 12 band. <laughs> there it is, 12 band. I was probably thinking 10 band on the short wave. So if I said that, that's what I meant. Um, so you can see the scale. It runs from the bottom up uh, on the FM and medium wave. And then when it comes to short wave, um, it's, it's a dust magnet because it's a huge dial screen here. Um, on short wave, it runs reverse. It runs low, low to high going the reverse direction. You can see that if you want to pause and look at that. Here we have a switch for the different bands. And you can see it indicates where you're at, which is nice as you, as you move this across. This has a little bit of play in it, but it doesn't affect the, the channel at all when you're using it. Okay, right-hand side we have the tuning wheel. Very smooth, easy to tune. It's, it's a breeze. I love it. It works very well. Here we have a volume slider versus a volume wheel. So that works. Works really nice, smooth. I'm just getting used to that. Um, you could bump it, but you're not really carrying this in your pocket, so I won't worry about it. It's kind of big for the pocket. Uh, top of the radio, there's a switch, and that's to turn the light on all the time. So if you wanted this light on all the time, and you had your AC adapter in, boom, you got it. Uh, antenna, it's a long one, 33 inch, and it swivels. It's a little stiff, I noticed, so you gotta go easy and slow. I feel like if I go fast with it, I might something might snap, so I just be careful with that. If it feels a little stiff to yours, I might have to oil it maybe or something. So, but uh, 33 inch, I get decent reception with it. Uh, I noticed that I hooked up my wire. Sometimes I get better reception without the wire, so very interesting how that works. Okay, you saw that, and then the back. Doo -doo 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 -doo. We got the frequency chart there on the flip, flip out stand. So it's nice. It runs on four AA batteries, which are behind this door. I'm not going to open that up because that'll be just craziness to try to close it because there's a foam there. It's kind of hard. <laughs> on the bottom, we have two little rubber feet. And if you notice, we have a little vertical stand that comes out so you can set the radio up vertically. I like that. Not bad. So let's go ahead and do some audio on this. I'm going to lower my tripod back down a bit. Okay, so we're going to start off in FM. Let me go ahead and pull this up here. We'll see what it sounds like. We'll just kind of breeze through the bands. Just get an idea of the audio. Everybody likes to hear that. Oh, antenna's long. Glad it pivots. <laughs> so let's see what we can hear tonight on the FM band. So I'm going to go ahead and start at the bottom. And we'll cruise on up through the dial real quick. And then we'll do some Radio Tadabert and uh, see what else we got. So let's go ahead and do this volume slider. I was looking for a wheel. <laughs> Did I tell you the speaker sounded really good? Yeah. Forever. World without end. Oh no, how much do I have to give if he doesn't ring the bell? Okay, we'll come back and let you know. We're going to go check the phone room. So you got a little bit of tone control. Very slight. I'll leave it on wide. I want to invite you to join me for the next exciting... To the best of our knowledge is... Pretty Listen in tomorrow. Come on, rock and roll. Once you've made that. Holy cow. It's like right around middle. Even at peace. FM at HD1. Chicago. Interiors, 630. Yeah. President Trump's new Secretary of State. 
He rep- Jared's jewelry. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds really good. We were four guys that said. Uh, It'd be a long video. <laughs> it's four more. So how do you connect? Erica's dad was All right, This is a really good radio. It's getting a lot of stations, as you can tell. I went through the whole FM band. So, what we're going to do now is a radio Totterbert so you can hear the full audio capability. Let's go ahead and turn it on there and tune on down. Make sure my level's good. I don't want to distort. Okay. Yeah, because on the FM transmitter, um, you got to be careful not to have it overload the signal. So we're going to go dead sure. down. Ceremony. Tune strong. about a minute. Great bass response. And this is amazing. Reminds me of the uh, 880. will fill the room. YouTube rock at its best. <laughs> Cool. So you got a good test of that. I like to do that. I like to feature the uh, audio. It's really neat that I can do that. Uh, because a lot of people are like, hey, you know, I want your music on there. And you can't tune it in on the radio because then you get these copyright things and they're such a hassle. So let's go ahead and hook up my antenna. You know what? I'm going to go bare without the connection. And if we can't, if we need a little extra boost, we'll hook up the wire. So right now I'm going to go just a 33-inch whip. We're going to go on the shortwave since I have it going. And we're going to go on the bottom of the first band. We're just going to go really quick here. Scroll through. And I'm going to zoom in this further so you guys can see. And we'll see if we can hear anything tonight on the shortwave. Okay, top, top of the, there you go. I think it starts 3.7 there, or a little, a little higher. I mean, a little lower there. With this dual conversion, I tend to pick up stations pretty easily. I did earlier anyway. Got a ham operator. Let me just see if my wire does anything. So if I had single sideband, I could tune that in. 
You know, it's funny that my other radios have it, and I'm not showcasing them. I can never do it live. <laughs> Without the wire, with the wire, it's not making a huge difference. I did use the side uh, port with a 22 footer uh, strung out in my room, and it worked out really well. Uh, was getting some good stations in, so and of course, time of day. What kind of breeze here? Otherwise, we'd be here all night, day. Short wave two, working backwards. Now we're playing music. See, I'm running the wire. No wire. Might be helping a little tiny bit. Time signal. Hour seven minutes. Coordinated universal time. Eleven oh three PM Central Standard. Original. You want to know why conservatism? Counterculture. Well, listen up. Sometimes you get snow in the morning. We got up. He's back. When I first got my first shortwave radio, my little Hanrangda, <laughs> that was my first, well, I wouldn't call it my first, I had a cheaper one for a dollar, and I got Brother Stare, it's the only one I could get, I used to listen to him, <laughs> I was like, those guys had a lot to talk about. <laughs> Music? Nice. Um, shortwave seems to be pretty alive tonight. There's a lot here. Smooth the dial. Easy to lock in the station too with the tuner. Look at one more band. Show wave four. Something there. Okay, so that's our shortwave wave segment. And to keep this radio uh, review not going super long, um, we're just going to do a quick medium wave. I'm not going to do an extended one because, yeah, we're already at 24 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and just close this and then medium wave and just kind of scroll through the locals real quick just so you can hear what it sounds like and then maybe I'll do a band scan in the future here on the uh, medium wave band we'll do a loop session or something that'd be fun all right static and I got a transformer plugged in yeah, plug that okay not affiliated with one of the religions that exists to 
try to implement that Bible and to make it part of our lives and our society. One eight hundred nine five five. Okay, I think I explained the switches, the DX local switch for the AM. I'm sorry, just for the FM and shortwave. And then here's our wide and narrow. Takes a little bit of static out, so I'll leave the in a narrow position. Okay. Uh, that, there are a lot of liberal denominations. Nashville, WSM, <laughs> 650. A good friend of our, Greg Gabriel, 670. here. Precept here as we end the week. Throughout the Northeast, uh, we've got 690. Looking pretty good. <laughs> Looks like old man winter has maybe, 700. maybe finally decided. Uh, uh, I'll give you a break. I That's think, I believe Ohio. Enough, right? <laughs> People are out tonight. 720. CFDM Toronto. Unnamed sources. You should move many says I know that. When you've got unnamed sources, Detroit, it's, WGR. it's our freedomchecks224.com. That's www.freedomchecks224.com. Something else. The memos. Yeah. Oh, it's super sensitive. There's a lot going on. I can't spend too much time. <laughs> Deal. Well, it, yeah, it is definitely time to, you know, I, I think I think this is traditional uh, splash. Uh, uh, blameless and holy before. Okay, they're the. I know the dial is pretty accurate too. It stops kind of at the sixteen ten mark. Probably 1540. There's 1610, CHHA Toronto. 1630. So it probably goes to 1630. Okay, cool. All right, so there it is. In a nutshell, let me go ahead and turn that off. There's our on-off switch. Okay. Yeah, this thing has a lot of cool features on it. All right, so my final thoughts on the R9700DX. Well, not my final thoughts because I'm going to continue to use this radio. <laughs> this is just amazing. Um, okay, you get a lot of radio for 50 bucks. Um, is it worth it? I mean, there's a lot of cool alternatives out there. Um, but for $50, this really does a great job for an all-analog feel. I mean, it just, uh, I love the light. I love the FM stereo. You know me and my FM stereo. I love the sound coming out of the speaker. I love the fact that I can hook it up with the AC adapter and run it without batteries on the FM and just listen to my FM music all day long or my local AM stations all day long. Hell, I can leave the light on all day long. You know, it, it's just a great thing. Um, so I really like that. Um, the shortwave really came alive tonight. Um, didn't expect to see here all that, but not bad for a small shortwave analog radio. Um, a lot of options here. Um, and, it, you know, it's pretty cool to take on a trip. I would love to take this somewhere and, you know, go up, you know, camping with this. And everybody has their the fancier ones, like I have the PL880 and all that. But uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm enjoying using this more than the 880. Yes, this is true. Um, maybe because I'm an analog junkie. Um, I do like that. They tend to work really well with the loop. Uh, you hear a big difference as you're tuning it. Um, it's, just, it's just a really cool radio overall. So does it get to buy it for $49? Heck yeah. This is an amazing radio. For 50 bucks, it's it's just like, wow, you're getting a lot of capability here, a lot. And it's something I, I can see lasting a very long time, um, and it just covers so much that you need, and it does it very well. So, well, there you go. That's my final thoughts. It's awesome. Um, as far as rating it, um, I would buy this over a 310 ET, a 380. Um, I'd buy it, um, I don't know, I mean, it's, it's in a category kind of by itself. Um, so... It's kind of like one of those things where, you know, what do you do? Because it has a bigger speaker. It sounds, the audio is just amazing. It's fun to tune. Um, and, and again, those digital counterparts are nice. But at the end of the day, I really like the sound that's coming out of here. And I do like the backlight on the analog scale. It just looks so vintage and cool. So, yeah, um, <laughs> it gets a buy, solid buy. If you're looking for this type of radio, this size, 
you know, more of a desktop radio, you know, smaller desktop radio, go for it. <laughs> That's all I can say. Alrighty, guys. Um, if you like the video, big thumbs up. If you like the radio, big thumbs up. Uh, I'm gonna, we're going to revisit this radio for sure. Um, subscribe if you're new. Hit the little bell icon so you can see more about this radio. We're going to do a loop session with it a lot more. And then uh, comment below what you think about the R9700DX. Yeah, it's awesome. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Goodbye.